This video is about how to fix stuttering and boost FPS in your games by optimizing NVIDIA settings and applying a few hidden tweaks. If you're struggling with lag, frame drops, or unstable performance, this guide will help you get smoother gameplay. Just stick around until the end and don't forget to subscribe. These optimization focus on reducing input lag and increasing FPS. But what about your internet stability? That's where Gear Up Booster comes in, helping to stabilize your connection for a seamless online gaming experience. Want super low ping in all the games? That's where Gear Up Booster comes in clutch. Download Gear Up Booster right now with the top link in my video description. It finds the best DNS servers near you to cut ping, fix lag spikes, and keep your game smooth and stable. And the best part? you can try it completely free. So guys, let's begin with a registry tweak that increases your GPU priority for gaming. Open the Windows search bar, type registry editor, and run it as administrator. Once inside, copy the first path from the description and paste it into the navigation bar. Then press enter. Look for a value named GPU priority if it isn't there, right click, create a new DWWR 32 bit value and name it GPU priority. Double click it and set the value to eight, then click OK. This adjustment tells Windows to prioritize your GPU when running games, improving responsiveness and stabilizing frame rates for smoother gameplay. Next, we'll enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Copy the second path from the description, paste it into registry editor, and press enter. Now look for HWSCHMODE. If you don't see it, right click, create a new DWWRT 32 bit value, and name it HWSCHMODE. Double click it, set the value to 2, and confirm with OK. This feature reduces latency by letting your GPU manage rendering tasks more efficiently, leading to smoother and more consistent performance. If you ever want to disable it, just change the value back to 1. By applying these two quick tweaks, you'll notice reduced input lag, higher responsiveness, and a nice FPS boost in your favorite games. Pair these with optimized NVIDIA control panel settings and you'll unlock the best possible performance from your system. All right guys, the next step to fix stuttering and boost FPS is to optimize the NVIDIA control panel settings. Open your search bar and type NVIDIA control panel and open it. Head to the adjust image settings with preview. Choose use the advanced 3D image settings click apply and then select take me there to open the detailed settings menu the first option is image scaling disable this as upscaling often introduces blur without offering real performance benefits if you need higher fps lowering your in-game resolution will always give better results than relying on scaling next is ambient occlusion Keep this off since it drains GPU resources while only adding subtle shadow effects that don't improve gameplay. For anisotropic filtering, set it to 16 times globally. Unlike many visual features, this sharpens textures without impacting performance, ensuring clear and crisp trust visuals across all games. Disable FXAA, Fast Approximate Anti-Aliasing, to avoid blurriness. Let the game itself handle anti-aliasing for cleaner visuals. Similarly, turn off anti-aliasing gamma correction since modern games already manage gamma correction internally. Set anti-aliasing mode to application controlled so your games decide which method to use. As for anti-aliasing transparency, keep it off, as it offers minimal benefit while consuming extra resources. Now let's move to performance focused options. Enable background application max frame rate and set it to 30 FPS. This caps background rendering, freeing up resources when you're alt tapped. For CUDA GPUs, leave it on all if you have one GPU or select your main GPU if you run multiple cards. 
leave CUDA system fallback policy on driver default and disable DSR factors, which are only useful for downscaling at higher resolutions. When it comes to low latency mode, avoid using ultra. The best balance is achieved by setting it to on, which helps, re helps reduce input lag without risking performance inconsistencies. Keep max frame rate disabled. If you need an FPS cap, always set it within your game for better stability. Disable multi-frame sampled AA, as it offers little benefit today. For the OpenGL rendering GPU, manually select your NVIDIA GPU to prevent Windows from defaulting to integrated graphics. Leave OpenGL GDI compatibility on auto. Set power management mode to prefer maximum performance, ensuring your GPU runs at its full capability during gameplay. For preferred refresh rate, always select highest available to avoid games lowering your monitor's refresh rate. Change shader cache size from driver default to a fixed size between 1GB and 5GB. This reduces stuttering by helping your GPU reuse compiled shaders efficiently. Under texture filtering settings, set texture filtering quality to performance if you prioritize FPS, or quality if you prefer visuals. Leave threaded optimization on auto so games can decide how to manage multi-core usage. Turn off triple buffering as it mainly affects older OpenGL titles. For vertical sync, V-Sync, set it to use the 3D application setting, since it's best controlled in-game. If you play VR, set virtual reality pre-rendered frames to one for smoother results. For the Vulkan present method, leave it on auto for maximum compatibility. Finally, under configure surround, Physix, make sure the Physix processor is set to your NVIDIA GPU instead of the CPU. This ensures your GPU handles physics calculations, reducing the load on your processor and improving performance in physics heavy games. Once all changes are applied, click apply at the bottom. Your display may flicker for a moment as the new settings take effect. After that, your NVIDIA control panel is fully optimized, giving you reduced stutter, higher FPS, and a smoother overall gaming experience. So guys, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more. See you in the next one. Peace out.